promised you a surprise. You know him as a five-time Grammy Award-winning pop superstar. I know him as my boo. Please welcome Usher. Thank you. You're a new daddy. I am. How old is he? He's six months. Well, I've been I, I, I've been a dad. I was actually a daddy, a stepdaddy before my little one came. Uh -huh. uh, my other three, Darren, Makai, and Kyle, were uh -huh. in Atlanta. Yeah. I now a, a brand new one, yeah. little six month old. Yes. And you don't have a picture, but um, we just thought maybe you'd want to um, draw us what he looks like. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Like, you know, well, you could we, just tell well, us what... Well, good thing, as of August, uh, Essence Magazine will be doing a cover story. Well, that, that's where his first picture will be shown. But okay. I'm going to try to do something All right, here. just see... I'm, I'm a horrible artist, though. All right. Okay, let me see. How about I do a self-portrait first and then him? Okay, sure. Okay. <laughs> Big Usher. Uh-huh. I'm smiling. Uh-huh. I got eyes. Uh-huh. I got a nose. Uh-huh. I got big ears. I got a little whip thing right there, right? Uh-huh. Okay, let me see. Oh, let's put, a, let's put an A hat on him, right? Uh-huh. Let's put a baseball cap on him. Right. You're actually a good artist. You think so? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, hey, that's Big Usher. He's smiling. Mm-hmm. He's got eyes. Mm hmm And he's got a nose. And he's got a little big ears. Little big ears. Yeah. And he doesn't really have a lot of hair, so we kind of do catch. He's got this little weird thing going on right now, like a little mohawk in the uh -huh. middle. And he's kind of missing hair in the back, but we, 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 we love him. Look at everybody. Aw, oh, he's adorable. Look at the way you're drawing. Aw. Like, oh. <laughs> that's great. He looks a little like Charlie Brown, so that's great. <laughs> and what surprised you the most about uh, this new little baby in your life right now? What surprised me about him? That I had him. Mm hmm Really? Yeah. <laughs> that was a big surprise. That was a big surprise. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> no, uh, actually, um, every day, I'm learning more and more about the beauty of fatherhood, you mm. know. Uh, as an African-American, you know, to be there for my child is so and so important uh, when there's so many young African-American uh, kids out there without their fathers. Mm -hmm. Every day. I'm charged with that responsibility, so I'm doing this for a generation coming, as well as the ones of the past. Uh, I just want him to grow up, to be uh, as wise, uh, as smart as he possibly can be, be very kind, open-hearted. Uh, it's changed everything about me, my approach of life, you know. Uh, he is my re reason for, for living outside of, you know, my wife, obviously, yeah. ha ha for helping me have him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without her. Yeah. But, um, she did most of the work, actually. She did most yeah. of the work. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, how do you know that? Yeah, well, you didn't carry it. <laughs> That's why. But I helped make it. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, so, and, and speaking of your wife, do you, the, the press seems like they've been very hard on, on your marriage. And some, somewhat. Um, what about it? Well, I mean, it just, I mean, don't you think they've been very hard on your marriage? Uh, to an extent, I feel like, you know, uh, the opinion is um, that maybe this wife has come in and torn something down. You know, no, she's built it up even more. Now the foundation of who and what I am is more. Mm -hmm. uh, this stands for what I want to see more of. I want to see more men standing with their women. I want to mm -hmm. see more men you know, open and honest about where they are in life. And that's a lot of what I chose to talk about in my music, not necessarily just about my relationship, but just being vulnerable, being honest, uh, because of, you know, that's the reality. That is the reality of life. And is a lot of that in your new CD? Yes. Here I stand. Here I stand. And when does it come out? It comes out May the 27th. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in terms of the opinion of, of the world, I think that, you know, um, I, it, call it self-reflection. A lot of times, you know, people are angry at themselves, and they put that energy out as a result of not understanding the, the true magic of life and love. Mm -hmm. You know, I found someone that I want to spend my life with. I love her very much, though we have our hard times, you know. Uh, everybody does in life. But, um, you know. 
you can't judge a situation if you're not in it. If you, if you never, yeah. you know, felt the true testimony of what love is, you know, then sure. you wouldn't understand. Sure, yeah, I think that's what people are doing. They, they kind of look at one thing and make up a story about it. What's the name of the new single? Here I Stand. Well, the name of the new single is Love in This Club. The name of the album is Here I Stand. All right, do you want to dance to your uh, to the new song? We can dance to something new. Let's go and dance to something yeah, new. Yeah, let's dance to something new. the number one New York Times best-selling book, Skinny Bitch, and I would like to welcome you to Rory Friedman and Kim Barnoonan. Kim, how do you say your last name? Barnouin. Barnouin. <laughs> Sorry about that. Those uh, are French names. All right, so Skinny Bitch. Now, when I first, this is not a book that normally I would, I would pick up. It just doesn't sound like something that I would read. And uh, tell me what a Skinny Bitch is. Well, you know what? It's a cheap, provocative title, and we, of course, wanted to get people's attention, but really, it doesn't mean anything. 